Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Libra weekly money and career reading from October 10th to the 16th, 2022. Libra, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week, October 10th to the 16th, 2022. Money and career weekly for Libra. Welcome to anyone that is just discovering this channel. Libras have been top three from the beginning in supporting this channel. So thank you to each and every one that has subscribed, that has been here from the beginning. And thank you to everyone just discovering and subscribing as well. Let's push to 20K. And we're at 19. Let's push to 20 so we can celebrate 20 in some way or another. Let me know down below how we should celebrate, Libra, since you are in the top, always supporting me from the beginning. Wow. So you are moving forward on a job, on a project. Something's happening here, Libra. Um Yes, action forward. Now, it can be a creative project. Uh, for me, cups are always about creativity or emotional projects, something close to your heart, something you that you might have been working on for a while or closely working on with people you in, you know that are important to you or an important project can be an, a, a project, okay, regarding kids, uh, education, um, <clears throat> caring, Caring for others can be an educational pro uh, project, doesn't have to be. I was going to say problem, problem, pro right, problem project. Um, whatever it is, you are marching forward in beautiful energies, action forward, starting this job, uh, business, situation. Um, you have control over this, so you might be... Uh, starting a business. Now, if it's not something um, educational, and I don't know why I said that, that might be just for one person, it might be um, a creative project, something that you've had on the back burner for a while, something that you're creating at home, a hobby that's turning into a, um, your main gig, or uh, you're developing a new product, you're developing or you're developing your talent, or you're putting your talent out there. If you're an artist, if you're a writer, if you're a singer, a dancer, uh, you know, a, a designer uh, in any what shape or form, right? If you're trying to put your art out there, you are marching forward in a new project and you are, wow, Libra. Yes. And it's bringing in finances, bringing in money. Um, with this emperor, it's you really coming into your power. Uh, Libra, good for you. It's, it's, bringing in finances, but it's also making you much more comfortable fine, um, mentally, uh, you know, a, a, a certain balance and harmony and, and, and wisdom in your home. Uh, this money uh, that you are gaining, um, so it can be, I don't feel like it's, this is a promotion, although yes, yes, it can be a promotion. Yes. Sorry. It's just coming to me. Yes. This, you can be bossing up in in a company, getting a promotion, you're gaining responsibility. You're gaining, you might be a leader on a project or designator leader in a project, a decision maker, uh, um, uh, someone that definitely is taking on more responsibility. And uh, with that, uh, you know, a higher salary, a raise, if you are in that situation, if you are waiting for a promotion, if you're waiting for uh, that opening for that job in that company, or if you are starting your own company or working on your own project, you are taking on responsibility for something. And if you're a retiree, and I'm adding retiree every time in my readings now, because um, I want everybody to understand that if you connect with these readings, these readings are for everyone, all ages, 
all groups, all ages. It doesn't matter who you are, where you are, what your situation is. If you connect with these energies and find them um, uh, inspirational or helpful, or if you connect with them in any sort of way, you know, these are for you. So it doesn't matter if you're 18 or 97 or 48, right? <laughs> you, you are, if you connect, you connect, right? So you can be really, uh, wow. Yes, there you go. So you can be helping others. You can be in a project helping others, uh, or you are helping others in life financially you're helping others or others are helping you or you're in a community of help right now not surprising with the world situation love and light to everyone everyone um in the four corners of the world if Whatever your situation is and you hear this reading, um, just sending all love to everyone that is there for others, caring for others, welcoming others, you know, helping others in difficult situations. And there are difficult situations everywhere. So um, I want to think that this platform is also to here to uh, help others, to listen to others, but also a platform for anyone that needs to put words on feelings, words on emotions. If you want to type something down below and that helps you and just gives you clarity, or if other people want to engage and connect with you and help each other out, this is a moment in time that is difficult for many, many people. So, um, uh, this platform is also for that if you feel the need to connect with others and or just feel the need to put words right to process something. So here you are helping others, guiding others, um, a pushing. Wow, this is a, a beautiful reading, Libra. Look at this. You are pushing forward in so this there's no ace so i think this is something you were already engaged in so it's either that job you're waiting for or or that promotion you're waiting for that project you got you have going or that business you have going whatever it is you are responsible for this you are um uh, engaged in this project and if it's not you that's the emperor but I think it is you um, there is a an Aries around you that is calling the shots but I think that you are here in your power uh, to help others to guide others or you're developing your business right whatever it is wow pushing for triumphant confident people are uh are realizing how talented you are or just praising your your talent your experience your loyalty in the job uh they your leadership in the job in this situation whatever it is five of swords getting out it's a five of swords, 10 of swords, sorry, getting out of a situation. Let's pull some more cards. If there's something you're going through now or something, because it's a 10. So I feel like you have had the strength to get out of a certain situation uh, and amp up and, and, and rise up to a different level financially uh, professionally, people really recognize your effort, recognize uh, the work you have done. Yes, comfortable with who you are, um, comfortable with the people you're working with. Uh, there is love around you. So if you're helping others in a situation that's difficult, there's help around you as well. There's love around you. Um, and I think that you're coming out of a difficult situation. Uh, it can be a difficult family situation. Now, again, these readings are titled Money and Career, but they're also all about there's the ace. There we go. Confirmation of this new 
job, new promotion, new business, new project. Take it as it resonates and comment down below if you wish to share your journey um, on this platform, right? And if you don't want to share, which I always say, I completely understand not everybody wants to um, share their life on this platform, uh, just put a heart down below or some sort of emoji down below just to let me know if you've connected or not, right? So you are, and I'm going to shift these over, you're moving into something much more positive. This project that you're taking on or this fact that you are uh, helping others, I really think you're helping others in, in and, um, and if you're not helping others, you're really moving forward on a project that's very creative uh, that can be helping others or just you moving forward on your personal project uh, in uh, starting your business or creating some sort of object or designing an object or designing, you might be designing clothes, designing accessories, uh, designing home design. I, I'm seeing, seeing a lot of home objects, home design interior design, interior architect, doesn't have to be, but um, you are moving forward on that creative project or you're rising up, you're getting a, a raise or you're getting a, you know, more responsibility in your job, something like that, right? But it has been difficult. You have moved, yes. All right, so I'm gonna put all these together. I know, I know, but nine of swords, 10 of swords, five of cups, so. Just know that you're moving into this beautiful, positive energy, pushing forward. Um, uh, four of Wands, Ace of Wands. So this is completely new. This is a new beginning. But you've had the strength, right, to pull through um, a certain situation. Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, and Five of Cups for me is regrets, um, sort of feeling sorry for yourself on a certain situation. Now that doesn't, and I'm not saying this in a negative way or in a condescending way, this is um, a situation you were disappointed in. Uh, uh, um, and I feel that this is the situation that's resulting uh, this new project, new job, new energy that you're pushing forward. So this can be helping people uh, that are in a difficult situation, that are going through transitions, that are go going through uprooting, right? A lot of that going on in the world. So again, love and light to everyone. And if you wish to share, please share down below. If you cannot share, just put a heart down below. I feel that you are helping people that are going through hard times. And again, doesn't have to be that. I think I'm reading different scenarios, people bumping up on a rising up or a bossing up um, in, a, in a company, in a job, people starting to uh, move forward on a business, on a project, whatever it is, you're starting and you're making money on this. This is money coming in. And if it's not money coming in and it's money for this project that you, you know, where you are helping, helping people. There's a, an offer on the way. Page of Cups. Page of Cups for me is an offer. It can be an offer of a job, an offer of an opportunity, a creative opportunity, um, something to uh, develop with um, these other people because I have a Knight of, Knight of Wands. Now, it's funny because this Knight of Wands, okay, this Knight of Wands is coming up a lot in these past few readings. And I, little by little, I'm feeling that this Knight of Wands belongs over here in this situation here, where people are taken for granted or people, it's, it's lightweight people. People that don't care. And, and, and Knight of Wands is not always about that. Knight, all, Knight of Wands can be someone uh, excited, someone enthusiastic, someone, you know, a little bit all over the place, but someone that just is with positive energy and excited to be there and excited to participate in a certain project situation, right? It's good energy, but it's energy that's all over the place. Not very responsible. 
uh, not very thoughtful, just bringing, you know, the life of the party, the person that likes to joke around and, and, and be there and right, but not very responsible within a job or, you know, a professional situation. And so uh, for some reason, this energy keeps coming up. And this energy is about people in the job or in a certain situation that are just that don't care or that just are not bringing much weight to the table, right? So if you're in a project or in a job and working in a company or working in a situation with a Knight of Wands, it's basically someone not pulling their weight. And I think that you have had either, so this is going both uh, either way, either you are helping people uh, in difficult times uh, to resituate themselves and, and financially find um, uh, solutions for people, or you are done with a certain situation here within a company, within a project, within a career or a situation. It can be a life situation. Again, like I said, I titled these money and career, but all about life energies, career energies, but life path energies and you're done with this knight of wands energy of people you think are there but they just i call it moving wind moving air you know people that are there but serve no purpose and i don't like to say that but it's frustration and anxiety and regret of you know, helping people or being there for people that don't recognize uh, <clears throat> what you've done, you know, recognize what you, how the help, you know, what you have, how you, you have helped them or how you have been there for them or you have, you know, help guided them or helped them through a difficult situation or it is someone within your job that, you know, that you keep having to help and you feel like there's never anything in return sort of taken for granted right and that's you have the queen of pentacles so there's a lot of people surrounding you this queen of pentacles libra um can be a taurus virgo capricorn around you but this queen of pentacles as much as this knight of wands is all over the place the queen of pentacles is someone that's very confident, but also very loyal, someone that you can trust, someone that you can count on, and someone that will be by your side and sort of, you know, guide you and help you uh, meet your goals, help you find a solution, be there for you. So you have two contradictory energies here. One person all over the place that you can't really trust, nice person, you know, lovely to hang out with and joke around with, but really not very substantial. And then you have the other person, a feminine energy that is there for you, a true friend or a true, um, you know, coworker that you can trust or a family member that you can trust, someone that's helping you, right? Um, and I see a lot of pentacles here, right? All these pentacles here. So this project, situation, job, co uh, company, or, you know, um, um, is, is you finding the resources to push forward on this project. Wow. It's, I, I feel like it's a little all over the place because I feel like I'm reading for different scenarios, but just pick up whatever energies you, um, you connect with because it is, yes, it is different people, different energies that I'm reading for. All right, let's see if there's, we can hone in a little bit on some messages in the second deck. This is a lot of cards. Let me just try this again. I feel like you're opening your business. You're starting a business and you're finding pentacles to start your business. But there are people there that are, yes, moving air, right? I feel a sense of regret of working with them or a sense of regret of connecting with them. And maybe they just, for you, they serve no purpose at all. I don't know why, you know, and then, the, but then you have the queen of pentacles that is so resourceful and so there for you, you know, very, very, 
very different energies and these feel like old people surrounding you all right yes wow well there we go um yes making decisions clarifying i mean but it, it this 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 two of pentacles is really juggling a lot a lot to deal with which i'm not surprised because there's a lot going on here so you might be on multiple projects you might be connecting with a lot of people and you might have a lot of ideas and multiple um projects or situations or or um or you know businesses that you want to develop right you might be in a certain working in a certain company and bossing up in a certain company and at the same time wanting to start your own thing you know starting your youtube channel or your etsy shop or or developing your design your projects at home your hobbies you know and start making money out of it and i feel like you're juggling a lot you're on all four burners trying to figure things out, trying to priority, prioritize what's important for you right now to push forward on this one, whatever this one means for you, right? It's, it's you organizing yourself. Yes, because you have the magician. So it's time. You have all the resources. You have everything you need, right? The magician is, is there to say that you're the person for this. So if this is something that you have been wanting to do or this job you wanted or this promotion you wanted, you're the, you're the job. You're the person for this. Right. And it's time to move forward on this. You you have the knowledge, you have the connections, you have the stamina, right, to push through. It's time to do that. It's the perfect timing to move forward on this project or on this idea. So take action and bring your intention to fruition. And I, th I really think you have gathered all your skills. Look at this. You have the, the aid of wands. So this is action forward, a lot of communication, a lot of messaging back and forth, people contacting you. But this is also like sudden movement forward. All of a sudden, it's happening. Whatever this is, it's time, right? So bring your intentions to fruition like you know um you have gathered all the skills and all the knowledge and all the you know the capacities or the capabilities or you know to to push forward along your along this way right to push forward on your path and to led you to that just led you to here to this situation to where you are now. So whether or not you know it, whether or not you are sensing these energies pushing you forward, you're ready to turn this idea into reality. So if this is a, you know, that idea you've had, that, that um, creation you've been doing, you know, that thing you've been doing at home, uh, you know, designing or, you know, wanting to uh, put out there. Uh, it's time to do that. It's time to turn your idea, your idea into, into reality if you haven't done it yet. So focus on the one thing that will move you towards your goal, right? And commit to that because I feel like you're, you're juggling all over and you're juggling also a lot of energies, a lot of people around you that seems to be a little frustrating all right let's see I, I feel like there's one more card that wants to come out in this um in this deck libra weekly money and career october 10th to the 16th yes oh <laughs> yes there you go just confirming this this knight of wands it's a knight of wands for me sometimes means you know, just excited to move forward on a certain project, excited to move forward on this idea, this thing that you've been trying to develop for a while. So it can be that as well. But I feel like over here, this is the excitement. And over here is the excitement, but people around you that are, you know, that really have frustrated you along the way. So just push forward in your thing, push forward in your excitement, in your idea, in your creativity. Wow, it's a lot of it's a lot of um information. So, comment down below, let me know 
what part of this reading you connected with, if you connected with it, and if you don't want to share, which I completely understand, some people do not want to share their life on here, just put a heart down below if you connected with these energies. A lot of cards came out here. I'm going to take them all um, just to see what is confirming. And let's push through to 20, 20K. We're almost there, Libra. Uh, lead the way uh, and uh, let me know how we could celebrate uh, 20k. All right, here we go. Yes, look, it's completely new. The fool, believe in yourself and believe in yourself, even if you don't know exactly, you know, how you're going to do it or, you know, what the end um, uh, perspective is, push forward, push forward, believe in this go for it. You are rising up. You have more knowledge. You have more awareness. You're, you're gaining more skills. You're opening up to more knowledge. You're out of the 10 of wands, right? You have 10 of swords and 10 of wands. It has been difficult. It has been uh, a lot of pressure, a lot of competition. Maybe you're in a field with a lot of competition. You know, it's pushing, pushing, but here we go, pushing to enter this really beautiful creative. And if it's not creative, it's something that you really connect with, right? whether it's the project, the job. Yes, five of pentacles. It has been difficult. It might have been a loss of a job, might be a loss of finances or just you not connecting to that those people or that situation anymore that has been frustrating you. Yes. That's, that's just the confirmation there of uh, that negative that's been going on, Libra, not the first time. So, yes, whatever it is, it's pinpointed here, but you're moving into something so much more, you have you, so much more interesting. And it feels very creative because now we have the Empress. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at all these cards. This is just the... <laughs> The message for the road and all these cards just came out just to pinpoint this situation here that you're getting out of. You have double the strength. You have all the willpower, all the stamina. You have this in control. You are, you know, you are you and you have the um, the emperor underneath here. So you are the one in control in this new direction, new path. You do have the Ace of Wands. So you have redirected your career or redirected your job or redirected your energies into something very positive, very creative. And now you understand. Um, because you have the Fool, so you don't know exactly, you know, what this is all about, You're, but you're excited and you're going for it. But the the Empress is about understanding that it's time to create, understanding that it's time to grow. You are in a growing period, but you can only grow once you realize, once you understand what you're creating and how you're going to create and, and exactly if you are clear on what you want to move forward and how you want to move forward. And you might know exactly with this fool. We don't always know because sometimes we are pretty much certain on how we can um, uh, develop something. And then, and then uh, you know, the universe throws us energies that we didn't even think of and ways to get there that we didn't even think of. But it's time to grow into this different path. It's time to um, develop whatever it is you're developing um, and connect with your creativity, C connect with your, your truth, your understanding of what this is all about. That is what the Empress is growing into your own and really maybe growing into a new path, right? It's a period of, um, of growth of which all you have planted is, you know, up to now is sort of coming to fruition. And it's, so take a moment to reflect on everything you've done so far. Take a moment to reflect on, you know, uh, what you have created and, and, and you can continue to build on this beautiful energy and create even more in your life. Beautiful, beautiful reading, Libra. 
I some I, sometimes I felt it, you know, it was a little going in different directions, but sometimes that is what it is. You get different messages for different situations. So allow yourself to enter a different frame of mind because you're growing into something different and you're creating something completely different. So let me know what you're creating, Libra. Let me know what this is all about. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to each and everyone for liking, sharing, subscribing, uh, sharing your journeys down below. If you, again, if you don't want to share, just put a heart down below. And please subscribe and hit the bell, especially if you enjoy these weekly readings and come around every week. Please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Have a great week, Libra. Bye-bye.